So you decided to take the plunge and learn how to play that piano or keyboard that's been sitting around waiting for somebody to play it. Or maybe you just got a brand new piano or keyboard because you've always wanted to learn how to play. Maybe you've tried to learn how to play before and for whatever reason, it just didn't stick. Or maybe you've never even touched a piano or keyboard before, but it's been a dream of yours for a long time and you're finally ready to sit down and make it a reality in your life. Either way, you're just getting started. Make sure you pick the right way to learn piano for you. You see, most people don't realize that there's actually several different ways that you can go about learning the piano. So one of the first steps in learning how to play piano is understanding what those different ways are and what's going to be the best one for you. I'm Jacques Hopkins, creator of PianoIn21Days.com, and let's go over the four ways that you could possibly learn how to play piano, the pros and cons of each, and which one of those four is going to be the very best way for you to learn how to play your piano or keyboard. Playing the piano is all about playing songs, right? It blows my mind how much time is spent in traditional piano lessons on things that are not actually songs. We have drilling scales, we have other drills, we have all this music theory, we have all this practice that's not actually practicing songs. And really, if we're not playing actual songs on the piano, then what are we really doing? So there are four ways that you can go about learning new songs on the piano. And since playing the piano is all about playing songs, those are the four ways that you could go about learning how to play the piano. First up, we have sheet music. And I'm sure you've heard of that before. That is by far the most popular way to, to learn new songs on the piano and, and to learn how to play piano. This is how I learned how to play piano for about 12 years. And as it turns out, this is the least effective way for me personally to learn how to play songs. I will admit that once you finally learn how to play a song through sheet music, it is pretty cool. But for me, the pain to get there just wasn't worth it. I remember this one song from my piano lessons growing up. It was called Maple Leaf Rag by Scott Joplin. And it was so complicated. The sheet music was so complicated that it took me an entire year to learn how to play it. You see, just learning how to read sheet music takes a long time. And even once you know how to sh read sheet music, you know what all the things mean on the paper, it still takes a very, very long time to learn new songs. Like I said, even if you already know how to read sheet music, now there are exceptions. I've seen people on YouTube that can just put a new piece in front of them and they instantly can play it via sheet music, but those are people with some natural crazy ability to be able to do that. And for the rest of us out there, most of us out there, unfortunately that's just never going to be a reality. And so for most people, I'm going to recommend one of these other options to learn how to play the piano. Next up, option two is what's called playing by ear. Right? You may have heard of people that have an ear for music or they pick things up by ear. This is when you can recognize notes or chords or different melodies just by listening to them. So people with a good ear for music can literally go to their piano and start playing something that they just heard. And trust me, I am completely jealous of that type of person. That's not something that I was born with or have a natural knack for. So it's not a good option for me just because I'm not that good at it. It's not something that comes naturally to me. Maybe it comes naturally to you and that is awesome. Feed that, work at that some more, but for once again, the rest of us, we're gonna have to find another approach. Now I do think some ear training does have a place for most people, but I think it should come after one of these other methods, specifically method four, which I'll tell you about in a little bit, because that way we have more of a foundation with piano and music first, then we can start training our ear a little bit. It's way more effective that way. Third up, we have YouTube tutorials, which are getting more and more popular as people have their smartphones and tablets and whatnot. And you can set that right at your piano or keyboard and mimic what people are doing in those YouTube tutorials. YouTube tutorials can be a very, very good thing, but if you really think about it, there is a striking resemblance to sheet music. Instead of the notes and the rhythm being laid out for you on a piece of paper, you have somebody on video showing you exactly what to play and when to play it. You see, I always say that typical piano instruction just turns you into a robot because it just teaches you to parrot back exactly what somebody else wants you to play. 
And if you're just doing that, then are you really learning music? So sure, you could look up that YouTube tutorial for your favorite song and play it back exactly like they're telling you to do in the video. But once again, are you really learning the whys? Are you really learning music? I'd rather you have a good foundation and understand why we're doing the things that we're doing. And then you're able to pick up new songs on your own, which leads me to the fourth way. And it is my personal favorite. It's called chords and improvisation. Obviously, these first three methods do work for some people or they wouldn't exist. But for the average person that doesn't want to play piano professionally, that doesn't have a lot of time, and just wants to sound like they know what they're doing as quickly as possible, then chords and improvisation is the way to go and is the main way that I teach people how to play piano with Piano in 21 Days. Now, real quick, I wanna tell you about this principle called the 80-20 principle, which just states that typically 80% of the results comes from 20% of the effort. So for example, in a business, you can typically identify 20% of activities that results in 80% of the revenue. Or how about this one? 20% of drivers on the road result in 80% of the accidents. And for you students out there, I bet only about 20% of the material that you're studying accounts for 80% of what's on the test. Now the key to ever applying the 80-20 principle is to identify that 20% and put all your focus there. So when I set out to create the most efficient piano curriculum out there, I wanted to identify that 20% of piano and the piano learning process that would yield 80% of the results on the piano. Because most people don't wanna be professional or concert pianists. Not because that wouldn't be cool, but it's because of the years that it would take and, and all the practice and the laboring over your piano to actually get there. What if instead I could offer you a way to sound like you actually know what you're doing, learn how to play in your free time, learn how to play a nice version of most modern songs out there, and best of all, a time frame that is just days or weeks rather than years to learn how to play. So neither sheet music nor learning to play by ear nor YouTube tutorials fits into this model of actually learning how to play and learning to play quickly and being easy enough that just about anyone can do it. Chords and improvisation does fit into this model and that's why it's my favorite way to teach people like you how to play piano. So go ahead and weigh the pros and cons of all these different ways you could go about learning how to play songs and therefore learning how to play your piano or keyboard, figure out which of the four is going to be best for you. And if you agree with me that chords and improvisation is going to be the best way for you to learn how to play, then I've got a free workbook waiting for you to get started. It's called Learn 36 Popular Songs in just five days. You can get a copy of that right now by clicking the link below this video.